Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa brothers and sisters, welcome. Welcome to MTP. Um, today we're going to discuss about one of the national poets of Bangladesh. He is an amazing person, he is a hero of the nation, or probably from the world as well. He's got followers all over the world. His name is Hadid um, al-Islam. He's not just a poet, he is a musician, he is a journalist, he is the army, you can name it, and he is an amazing person. Um, I'm so happy to have our guest tonight, he's another amazing person. He does a little bit in Kimberley University. Uh, he's the name of Mustaq Ahmed. Mustaq Ahmed, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me here. You know, um, you probably had, I'm talking, asking, uh, I'm telling our viewers regarding the of Islam. You know, he is one of the national children of our uh, This is something we are proud of. And he's been, uh, you know, he's still, we remember, he passed away in 1976. And in England, we're still talking about him. You know, he's an amazing person. So just for our viewers, what we're going to talk about today, is we'll talk about his, uh, his early life, and his midlife, and his um, end of life. We'll try to cover everything. So can I ask you, start by to um, introduce yourself and introduce our great poet to our audience. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity. You are very right to say that he is, although he has, He's not in the midst of us uh, uh, with life. Uh, however, with his works and with his literature, with his love and affection for the humanity, he is still with us. And uh, uh, I would say, Kobe Nazgul Islam was, obviously he, is a, he was a national poet of Bangladesh. Uh, however, uh, he was a rebel poet as well, because he shown rebelliousness to the oppression and injustices and all sorts of inequalities. And throughout his life, he has fought for that. One thing he's still relevant today to the whole world is, let's quote from his own words what he said. He said, even though I was born in this country, in this society, I do not belong to just this society, just this country. I belong to the world. He deserves to belong to the whole world for his magnificent words. You know, he has the different different names. People we call him Dukumiya. I know when I was young, we call him as Dukumiya. But he was also um, in the Middle The first one was he was an army. He's the Indian army. He's he done his duty there, and he played a big role, um, like you said, against the injustice. And his all his books we still see uh, as a bare books. So would you like to um, say a few things regarding his childhood for our viewers to be very interested in that? His childhood, uh, he was born in a traditional Muslim family and he was born in 1899. Uh, he is, at the time it was Calcutta, and then later on, it became, uh, I'm not for that, it became Bangladesh, but Bangladesh came into being and then when this one came into the citizenship of Bangladesh in 1972 when he came over to Bangladesh and we take pride of that. So, and in 1976 he passed away from this world. Uh, his life began, well, it's, it's quite tough, very tough life he has had from the very beginning. At the age of Ten, I believe, he lost his father, and his father was an imam while he was alive at the local mosque uh, and the caretaker of that institution. And at the age of ten, as we had to take over the role of his father to some extent, and he worked as a muazzin, who is the caller for the prayer traditionally, uh, and continues to be uh, the cause for prayers. And he also done some of the practical work. That's how his life started. You know, he's coming to as a Talukda. Um, if some of us, I don't know, the Talukda, you know, the other title. Is there a specific uh, family or just like a normal family? He was from a Talukda family. You're very right to say that. And uh, Talukda family is a very strong family. Uh, his 
in terms of social status are defined in theoretical respect. You know, with these uh, amazing books, like he wrote about 4,000 songs, and well, he's a musician himself, he was a singer as well. Absolutely. To, and, um, I'm very interested to know, like, he is known for his poetry, for his poets. Why is poet to everything over? Why is he known for poetry instead of other things? Would you like to? Why is it so important? Because, as far as my study goes, the magnificent works of him are shown in his poetry. And he has expressed himself through his poetry. I believe he did not let himself to be indoctrinated by any kind of school of thought. He kept his mind and soul free for understanding, free to learn from the nature and the people and what is available surrounding us. So that's why he was able to express himself in a unique way which, although he was influenced to some extent by some of the previous uh, poets, uh, however, he maintained his uniqueness, and that was shown on his poetry, in his poetry, and that's why his poetry is so fantastic. Because millions of people's living changed because of his poetry. A revolution happened because of his poetry, so that it's amazing, it's amazing. Would you like to share one of the poets that you have in this? Certainly. 